isn't it amazing how Harry and Meghan sink lower and lower and lower? Now the entire press, thanks to Robert, Robert Hartman, are saying, oh my God, there were Netflix camera crews. Really? I mean, we YouTubers did this for her. I mean, how many videos did we do about this? Everybody could see the camera, the hidden camera Meghan Markle was wearing. Remember that little box by her waist? You could see the microphone, the camera, and Harry's. Harry's was more discreet because he was wearing a suit. But who found those cameras? How, who found, how did they actually know that Harry and Meghan were filming themselves for the Queen's funeral show? Because to Harry and Meghan, the death of the Queen was nothing but a business opportunity. How were they caught? Who caught them? And what really happened? Hello, beautiful people. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff that helps the channel grow. Um, you know, nothing happens in a vacuum. Absolutely nothing happens in a vacuum. There's no such thing as coincidences. A lot of the newspaper reporters have said, oh my God, when they saw uh, Prince William, uh, Catherine, and Harry and Meghan get out of the car together at the Queen's funeral. Everybody, I mean, everybody was in shock. First, because of what had happened. Let's not forget that Harry and Meghan had spent more than a year in the United States trashing Catherine, William, but mostly Catherine, because we know that Meghan's hatred is aimed directly at Catherine because Catherine represents everything that she will never be, a real woman. That's the way the cookie crumbles with that one. So I remember the entire people, I was shocked to see them come out because really, really? Oh, and the press, they were hailing that as, oh, Prince William extends an olive branch. The fab for our back. Was, were there, was there ever a fab, fi, a, four, a fab four that they called him? Was there ever? With all that we know, and which is very little because we know that Buckingham Palace has hidden, covered up, buried a lot of Harry and Meghan's uh, misbehaviors. And isn't it funny how Charles is using a biographer in a book to kind of expose them a little instead of actually doing something decent about it and say, you know what, you did this. We're going to publish the bull bullying report because this, the House of Windsor is nothing but transparent. Yeah, but that's not going to happen, is it? That's not going to happen. So, but can you imagine these two psychotic human beings the queen dies and they get their Netflix screw. They hatch this plan and they were going to do it. Guess who caught them? Because you see, the thing with Harry and Meghan, because they gotten away with so much, when you are used to behaving in a manner, not getting caught or getting caught, actually, let me rephrase that, getting caught and being rewarded or with no cons or not having not suffering any consequences that sends a message to their minds thinking oh so this is okay because otherwise i would have suffered these consequences but there's there are no consequences to harry and megan's behavior so they had the oprah thing the me you can't see the other uh articles that were publishing about catherine uh funding freedom and nothing happened to them there were no consequences. 
what consequence, consequences were there? Other than the consequences that the royal family had to hype their security up because of the hatred that Meghan Markle's lies and Meghan Markle and Harry's lies sent towards the royal family by falsely claiming they were racist. So yeah, in Harry and Meghan's mind, what they're doing is okay. Or at least it doesn't create any problems for them. In their minds, there are no consequences. I mean, I just saw a blind item about um, how a huge time director, like an A-list, an A-list director was approached at the Emmys, asking him to direct Meghan Markle's Meet Me at the Lake. And this director pretty much charges about six or seven times the entire budget allocated for Meet Me at the Lake by Netflix. And he laughed. And you know why Meghan Markle thought that, that she can't contact these A-listers? Because she genuinely thought that the, this A-lister director would jump, jump at the chance to work with Meghan Markle. Oh no, sorry, the Duchess of Sussex. So she thought that working with her was more than enough, is worth more than money. This is the psyche of Rachel Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. So, yeah, can you imagine that when, yes, Harry, through all his pain, is notified, or knows his grandmother died, he charters a plane, which Charles reimbursed him for, by the way. He charters a plane to go see his dying grandmother. And the only consolation price him and Meghan Markle have is that Catherine didn't, wasn't there. Because then Meghan Markle would have been insulted. Because you see, Sophie was there. Camilla was there. Yet Meghan Markle and Harry didn't, didn't name Sophie or Camilla being there, even though they were wives. It was just Catherine. That's how fixated Meghan Markle is. So yeah, you get the news, you come back, and, and, and the first thing you're going to do is get a Netflix, the current Netflix camera crew you have with you and do um, a walkabout for a funeral show because it was a show. Harry and Meghan saw the Queen's death as a show, as a perfect chance to make a show, not a documentary, a show out of it. Because they couldn't document anything, they were left out of the loop. Yeah, that's the first, that was their first reaction. Let's not forget that because it was the Queen's funeral, they got tax funded police protection. They were being guarded because now they were there, invited by the current king. Because, you know, Harry. <sighs> Harry and Meghan had to attend the Queen's funeral. So whenever they get invited to a function, a royal function, a royal event, whatever, they get tax-funded police protection. And as I said before, because they've gotten used to doing all these things, literally doing it. Remember that picture of King Charles that he's walking inside Kensington Palace? walking down the steps and you see Harry and Meghan right behind him like vultures. And somebody about a mile and a so away managed to take a photo. Can you imagine if that had been a sniper? They would have killed Charles. They knew when and where Charles was coming down to capture that photograph, which is a huge breach of security. What happened? Shh, nothing. And I always amazed that people in my channel come, how do you know? If that happened, we would know. No, 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 no. We wouldn't know because we know that Buckingham Palace hid for many years the real nature of Prince Harry. They did such a good job that people are still mourning the laws of Prince Harry. The one that was presented to the world. People, are st people still miss that prince. People still say, oh, you know, if he divorces Meghan, he's welcome back. But this is the very same prince who went along and had a camera on himself along with his wife. So because they have police tax-funded police and because they become reckless 
with their behavior because of course they feel more confident that nothing's going to happen they get away with it so they start they stop losing they stop being more careful or about it because you know it becomes habitual behavior on them so the guard protecting them warned buckingham palace kensington palace sorry not buckingham palace the guards around harry and Meghan markle warned and one of the aides from Meghan Markle's camp, who no longer works for her or with her, also warned Kensington Palace. Which is why we suddenly see that olive branch from Prince William being extended. They were caught. Meghan Markle still was able to sneak the camera and the microphone. But she was told at the end of her recording session for the show that she could not use that. And she got angry because she said what they did was a public domain. This is remember when they were handing flowers, she thought the flowers were for her. Remember when both aides came to her, the first time the aide came to her and said, you have to give me the flowers. And she goes, go away, go away. I want to put the flowers over there because she was recording everything. She had people over there watching with the cameras, with the Netflix camera crew. We all remember that. And then the, the lady aide, I think Catherine's private secretary, the lady who, who her assistant came in, actually took the flowers from her. And remember how reluctant she was? How she didn't want to give those flowers because that was ruining a very important scene of the show. So can you imagine? And Meghan Markle was furious. Harry not so much because Harry's a coward at the end of the day. And when they were both caught, Harry actually left his camera. Meghan didn't. Hence that little pocket thing we see on her left hand side. And on her back too. Because she was recording everything. She's not allowed to use it for Netflix. But we know that somehow, somewhere, we will see in the future footage of the show she recorded. And because Meghan Markle is fully aware that she will never, ever suffer the consequences of her actions, she will post it out there. That's who Harry is. That's who Meghan Markle is, and those two individuals were allowed to be at the Queen's funeral, a historic event. These two individuals who literally Harry had no respect for his grandmother to do that and go along with it. He had no backbone to stop that. And kudos to the guard, you know, the protection officer, sorry, and Meghan Markle's former employee who alerted Kensington Palace of this. I mean, what do you guys think?